For a lot of folks, pets are like family. Some say they may even be better than family. They don't whine, they don't argue, and they wait by the door every day for you to come home. It's that unconditional love that inspires folks to give them respect and dignity in death. Tonight, Suzanne Lawler shows you why you have a lot of options, some you may never have heard of when it comes to saying goodbye to your best friend. Come on, Winnie. Mo Dyer and Andrea Turner love their family, especially the ones with four legs. Meet Harley, Casey, Winnie, and Boo. I keep asking for a punch card, but they won't give me a punch card. On the 10th one, you get one free, but they won't. And they don't live forever. She was a Border Collie mix. She was a good girl. She was a good girl. I miss her. When Jesse passed away, Mo and Andrea called Hart's Petuary. We, we know now that if the, someone calls the funeral home and they're crying so hard they can hardly talk and you can hardly understand them, it's almost a 100% chance that it's going to be a call for Hart's Petuary. Milton Hurd is an animal lover. Gertie works there too to comfort folks. They're primarily a crematorium but offer a unique service. The new, newest hearse that we've added to the fleet is a uh, black Buick Enclave. When we were ready, they, they left. They took her, you know, but only when we were ready. The hearses look just like the ones for people now, but 10 years ago. Before this, the only time people were uh, at pet business all were using pickup trucks. And I just thought that was just way too impersonal. So we started off with these Chevrolet HHRs. You can keep your pet's ashes in a piece of jewelry or an urn. Most are ones that have the photograph. If you notice here, they have a um, photograph of the dog and the name on it. When a pet passes, some folks opt to transport the pet themselves here to Pet Haven Cemetery. They buy a plot, they buy a vault. There are close to 700 pets interred here. We offer a traditional burial and we also offer where they can have their cremains also buried here. John Butler says burials run about $1,100 plus the marker, but price isn't a concern to grieving clients. Well, a lot of people don't want to bury them in their yard. A lot of people move around from place to place, so this gives them a final rest in place. As for Mo and Andrea, they opted for an urn for Jesse. Just a so much better way than, I don't know, the old fashioned way of digging a hole and putting the two sticks together as a cross. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Now the fee for the Hirsch from Hearts Petuary comes to your house in Bibb County is $100. It's a little more for other counties. We did check in with Dr. Bernard Hodges with Critters Fixers. Critter Fixers, he says he rarely sees his clients bearing pets in their backyards anymore.